right so hey guys in this tutorial i'm going to teach you on how to enable your app data folder on your windows 11. so it's a very simple process let's get straight into it shall we so what you're going to do is you're going to go into your file explorer right here go into this pc and go into your main windows drive so mine is in this case is local to c and then you're going to go into users go into your main account so how would you know which is your main account okay you're just gonna go right here okay right here and um, you can see here it says techno right so that is my main account okay so now what you're going to do is app data for me is here because I've um, actually enabled it okay usually it will be disabled so I'm just gonna go let that load this uh, step will not be required for you guys uh, for me it's I've already enabled it for me to help you guys with the tutorial so I'm just going to disable it for now to just show you an example of how it will look and how to enable it just give it a sec give it a sec okay so once you enter your main account folder app data should be here okay which it was so um, you won't be able to see app data since it's hidden so to unhide it you're just going to go into view right here going to show and check just click on hidden moment items and it should be there app data should be there you can go into your local you can go into your roaming all of the files should be there okay if you want to enable it completely permanently like you've seen before you're just going to right click on this go into properties right there and the hidden will be checked just unchecked it and just click on apply and make sure the changes are applied if the second one is uh, chosen to folders subfolders and files you just click on ok and yeah make sure to click apply and ok I just clicked ok so make sure to click apply and ok and this should run through and your app data should be enabled so that's all for this video guys it's a very simple video and yeah hope it helped thanks for watching folks